Today we are going to be doing a compression test on a 1991 318 IS. This is an E30 that has been swapped with the later M50 non vanos motor. First thing we want to do is start up the car and let it warm up to operating temperature. Now that our car is up to temp, we will remove the vanity cover, the oil cap, the spark plugs, and the coil packs. Now this isn't 100% necessary, but we're also going to remove the fuel pump fuse, which is fuse number 11 on this late model E30. Alternatively, you can also remove the fuel pump relay. Now we can thread in the compression testing tool into the first cylinder. We'll crank it between 4 to 6 times until it builds pressure, and then we can read the gauge and see what each cylinder reading is. And here's the adapter that we're going to thread into the cylinder. Okay, so let's crank over the car and see what we get for readings on cylinder number one. Okay, so it looks like we are at about 140 PSI. And we'll move on to cylinder two. And it looks like cylinder two is about 120 PSI. Now we'll do cylinder three. Okay, here we go, cylinder three. Okay, and here's cylinder number four. As you can see, cylinder four is substantially lower than the rest of the cylinders. Um, it looks like there is definitely something going on, uh, and it probably confirms that there's something going on with the head gasket in this car. And here we go, cylinder five. And cylinder five also hit 60 PSI. And last but not least, cylinder six. Okay, not too bad. This one hit around 130 PSI. Okay guys, that's pretty much all there is to it for doing a compression test. Now we have a better idea of what's going on with this motor. Obviously all that remains is to put the spark plugs back in, the coil packs, and our vanity cover. We'll pop that fuse for the fuel pump back in, and we should be good to go. As always, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please click the like button and subscribe.